it's Wednesday in Tryon, North Carolina. In just a few minutes, we're going to see a couple that uh, we've known for a long time, probably close to 40 years. And uh, we're in a Bible study with us in the Brandon, Florida area. Uh, grew as Christians and uh, along with us and went to the same church that we went to. And we just have a wonderful fellowship. We haven't seen them in a number of years. So we're really looking forward to this visit and uh, hope that you'll pray that we have a great time together as we talk about spiritual growth and what's been going on in our lives. Proverbs, purpose of Proverbs, chapter one, verses one through six, instruction in righteousness. Chapter one, verse seven through chapter nine, verse 18, is an indication it was written to youth as he uses the phrase my son key verse in chapter 1 verse 7 fear the lord is the beginning of wisdom and we know that uh, that wisdom is going to start with the ear or the eye go to the head and then finally to the heart where it really takes root there's a warning about enticement of evil people and a warning about flattery of women and then there's the discovering, the discerning, and the derivative of that learning that goes on by discovery and discernment. Chapter 3, verses 5 and 6 talks to us about trusting the Lord with all of our heart and leaning not on our own understanding or our own rationalization, if you will. And it tells us very clearly, don't reject the discipline of the Lord because whom the Lord loves, he reproves. He does really, truly does care for us. And any reproof he gives us, anything he says to do or not to do, is for our own best interest. Chapter 3, verses 13 through 18 are the benefits as we start to have it go to the ear or the eye, and then finally from the head to the heart. We see all of the benefits of this wisdom and understanding and discernment, these warnings that are given to us for righteous living. And it tells us very, very clearly that there's wisdom and understanding in the obedience to these instructions. And then as we begin a new section in chapter 3, verse 19, it says, The Lord by wisdom founded the earth, and by understanding he established the heavens. And by knowledge he took the deeps or the sea and broke them up or separated uh, the seas. And the sky dips, drips a dew. The sky drips dew. Uh, it, these are really interesting things because it acknowledges God as the creator. And it says by wisdom, he founded the earth. By understanding, he established the skies or the heavens. And by knowledge, he separated the oceans and provided that dew would drip from heaven, from the skies. Those are the things that are necessary to support life here on earth. And those are the things that make this earth such a beautiful place to live, whether you're in the ocean, uh, along the beaches, or whether you're up in the mountains as we are today. Uh, it is a grand, grand creation of God. <laughs> and then some people would take that out of context and say, well, the next verse is an ecology verse that talks about the land and the seas and the skies and says, my son, don't let them vanish before your sight. Well, it's not talking about the earth or the seas or the sky. It's talking about the understanding, the knowledge, and the wisdom uh, that God gives to us and in instruction in righteousness. Those are the things that we need to not let vanish from our sight. And uh, in verses 22 through 24, it tells us it gives life to the soul. It gives adornment to the neck. It allows us to walk securely. It allows us to not stumble. It provides for us when we lie down to not be afraid and to let our sleep be sweet. <laughs> Think about that now for a minute. All of the wonderful benefits of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and obedience to God's instructions and righteousness. They're life to our soul. They're an adornment. That is, they make us much more attractive. I don't mean physically. I mean from a spiritual standpoint, from a personality standpoint, they make us, give us an adornment and they allow us to walk securely, not stumbling with evil and not paying the price of sin. And it allows us to not stumble in the world around us by enticement and 
flattery and the things that can so easily bring us down. And it lets us lie down without fear. And it finally allows us to have sleep that is sweet. Yeah, when we're in the right standing with God, all of those things are our purpose for our life. Life to our soul and adornment around our neck and walking securely in this world, not stumbling and lying down without being afraid and sleeping as sweetly. That's your thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.